Welcome to another math tutorial. So in this lesson, we will be discussing how to solve quartiles using linear interpolation. So we use linear interpolation if the value of the position is in decimal form. Last time we have discussed how to solve quartiles using Mendel-Hall and Sinsich method and the value of the position we have compute is in whole number form. So what about if the value of the position is in decimal form? So this time, if the value of the position is in decimal form, we will use linear interpolation to solve for the quartiles of the ungrouped data. So let's have first our formula in finding the position of the quartile. So in interpolation method, we will use the same formula we use in Mendel-Hall and Sinsich method. So we will use the quartile 1 equals to 1 fourth quantity of n plus 1, wherein quartile 1 is the lower quartile. Then quartile 2 is equal to 1 half quantity of n plus 1, wherein quartile 2 is the median. And then after that, quartile 3 is equal to 3 fourths quantity of n plus 1, wherein quartile 3 is the upper quartile. And n is equal to the number of data or scores. So let's have an example. These are the scores of 13 students of G10 Malthus in a 20 item test. So we have 1, 7, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 15, 14, 13, 15, 20, and 20. So the first step we need to do is to arrange the numbers in ascending order. Arranging the numbers in ascending order, we have 1, 7, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 18, 20, 20, and 20. And then after that, we will locate the position of the score in the distribution using the formula lower quartile is equal to one fourth quantity of n plus one and then we will substitute the value of n which is the 13 students or the scores of the 13 students so we have quartile one is equal to one fourth quantity of 13 plus one will be equal to 14 and then 14 times 1 fourth will be equal to 3.5. So the position of quartile 1 is equal to 3.5 position. And then after that, is we have to find the difference between the two values where in quartile 1 is situated. So in this case, Quartile 1 is equal to 3.5. So we will count the numbers. So this one will be the first number, the second number, and the third number. So we will subtract the difference between the two values where in quartile 1 is situated. So quartile 1 is in between the third and fourth number. So quartile 1 is in these two numbers some were between these two numbers so we will subtract those two numbers we'll have 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 and then after that we will get the decimal part result in step 2 and multiply it with the result in step 3 so the decimal part in step 2 is 0.5 so we will multiply 0.5 or 0 0.5 times the result in step 3 which is equal to 3. So 0.5 times 3 is equal to 1.5 and the next step we will add the result in step 4 to the smallest number in step 3 and get the value of quartile 1 or to get the value of quartile 1. So adding that so the result in step 4 is 1.5 and then the lowest number or the small number in step 3 is equal to 9. So adding 1.5 plus 9, we will get the value of quartile 1 which is equal to 10.5. So using the same example, 
we will compute for the quartile 2 or the median. So using the same step, we have to arrange the numbers in ascending order. And then after that, locate the position of the score in the distribution. So we will use the formula for the quartile 2 or median is equal to 1 half quantity of n plus 1. Substitute the value of n which is equal to 13. And then 13 plus 1 is 14. Then divide it by 2. So quartile 2 is in the 7th position. So since it is a whole number, all we need to do is to count. No? So we will count the position. So this one will be the first number. Second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number, sixth number, and then the seventh number is will be or is 15. So therefore the answer will be the seventh number which is equal to 15. And then next we will find for the upper quartile or quartile 3. So using the same example, arrange the scores in ascending order. And then after that, locate the position of the score in the distribution using the formula upper quartile is equal to 3 fourth quantity of n plus 1. And then we will substitute the value of n which is equal to 13. And then 13 plus 1 will be equal to 14. Then 14 times 3. Then divide the answer by 4. We will have 10.5. So the position of the upper quartile is in a uh, 10 point pip position so the next step is to find the difference between the two values where in quartile 3 is situated so quartile 3 is between the 10th and 11th number so we count so this one will be the first second third fourth number fifth number sixth number seventh number eighth number ninth number tenth number and then eleventh number so it is somewhere between this, those, these two numbers, 18 and 20. So we will subtract those two numbers. 20 minus 18 will be equal to 2. And then after that, we will multiply the decimal part in the result or with the result in step 3. So the decimal part is 0.5. And then we will multiply it here in the result in step 3, which is equal to 2. So multiplying those two numbers, 0 0.5 times 2 will be equal to 1. And then after that, the last step is to add the result in step 4 to the smallest number in step 3 to get the value of quartile 1. So adding those two numbers, so the result of two numbers, so we have 1. So adding those two numbers, this one, the result in step 4, and then the result in step 3, which is the small number. Okay, so here is the small number in step 3, 18. So 1 plus 18 is equal to 19. Therefore, the position of the upper quartile is equal to 19. So let's have another example. These are the scores of 16 students of Jit and Gandhi in a 20 item test. So we have 1, 1, 7, 8, 12, 15, 19, 20, 15, 14, 13, 15, 17, 18, 20, and 20. The first step is to arrange the numbers in ascending order. I have already arranged those numbers. And then we will proceed to the next step, which is we have to locate the position of the score in the distribution. So we will use the formula of the lower quartile. Quartile 1 is equal to 1 fourth quantity of n plus 1. Then we will substitute the value of n which is equal to 16. And then after that, we will add 16 plus 1 will be equal to 17. And then we will multiply it by 1 fourth. So 17 times 1 fourth will be equal to 4.25. So the position of the lower quartile is in 4.25 position. Next step is to find the difference between the two values where in quartile 1 is situated. So quartile 1 is in between the 4th and the 5th number. So we will subtract the 4th number. So our 4th number is 8 and our 5th number is 
equal to 12. So we'll subtract those two numbers. So 12 minus 8 will be equal to 4. And then after that, we will get the decimal part result in step 2 and multiply it with the result of step 3. So the decimal part in step 2 is 0 0.25. And then the result in step 3 is 4. So we will multiply those two numbers. Multiplying those two numbers, 0.25 times 4 is equal to 1. And then after that, the last step is to add the result in step 4, which is 1. And then we will add it to the small number or smallest number in step 3, which is equal to 8. So adding those two numbers, 1 plus 8, the value or the or the value of the first quartile or the lower quartile is equal to 9. Next, let's now find the value of quartile 2 or the median using the same example. Using the same step, arrange the numbers in ascending order, and after that, locate the position of the score in the distribution. Quartile 2 or the median is equal to 1 half quantity of n plus 1. Substitute the value of n. We have 16 numbers or 16 scores. 16 plus 1 will be equal to 17 times 1 half will be equal to 8.5. So the next step is to find the difference between the two values where in quartile 2 is situated. So quartile 2 is somewhere between, sorry this is quartile 2. So quartile 2 is somewhere between the 8th and the 9th number. So we will count. This one is the first number, second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number, sixth number, seventh number, eighth number, ninth number. So we have the 8th number is 15 and the ninth number is also 15. So 15 minus 15 will be equal to 0. So the next step is to get the decimal result in step 2 and then multiply it with the result in step 3. Since 0 is the result on step 3, so the decimal part is point or 0 or 0.0, 0. and then we will multiply it to the decimal part in step 2 which is 0.5 so multiplying 0 times 0.5 will be equal to 0 and then we will add the result in step 4 which is the result is 0 and then the smallest number in step 3 which is 15 so 0 plus 15 will be equal to 15 so the value of the upper quartile is equal to 15 Okay, so let's now solve for the upper quartile using the same example. So first, to arrange the numbers in ascending order. And then after that, locate the position of the upper quartile. So we have quartile 3 is equal to 3 fourths quantity of n plus 1. We will substitute the value of n which is equal to 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. Then multiply it by 3. Then divide the answer by 4. So the upper quartile or the position of the upper quartile is equal to 12.75. And then for that, step 3 is to find the difference between the two values where in quartile 3 is situated. So quartile 3 is in between the 12 and the 13th number. So the 12 numbers, so let us count this is the first number, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eighth number, ninth number, tenth number, eleventh number, twelfth number. 13th number. So we will subtract these two numbers. So we have 19 minus 18 will be equal to 1. And then after that, we will get the decimal part result in step 2, which is equal to 0.75. And then multiply it with the result in step 3, which is equal to 1. So 0.75 times 1 will be equal to 0 0.75. And then the next and the final step is to add the result in step 4, which is 0 0.75, and then to the smallest number. So this is the result in step 4, and then we will add this in the smallest number in step 3, which is 18. So 0 0.75 plus 18 will be equal to 18.75. So the value of quartile 3 is equal to 8.75.